Thanks to the beauty of inflation, a couple of recessions and employers taking advantage of their employees, the average salary is now lower than it's been at any point in the past 10 years. As such, more and more people are looking to supplement their income from their traditional nine to five and look at side hustles to make a little bit of money on the side. So what exactly are the best side hustles that you can start today and balance alongside a traditional nine to five? Keep watching to find out more. What's going on sales family? It's Bear Head from Sales Unveiled once again, helping slash through all the misconceptions around sales, business, side hustles, and of course, personal development and giving you the practical advice that you need in your day-to-day -day careers. As good as sales jobs are at getting a nice juicy commission check every single month, the truth of the matter is that unfortunately, it's not exactly guaranteed. Passive income, side hustles, or even just earning a few extra pennies on the side is now more popular than ever before. All that despite all the cringy phrases out there like F you money or make money while you sleep. I need a shower after saying that. Now your boy has succeeded and failed many, 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 many times at earning a side income. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down three of the most popular side hustles out there go into whether I recommend them or not and if you can do them when you're working a traditional job. Blogging! Easily my favorite side hustle on this list has to be blogging. For those of you living under a rock, a blog is just basically a website that you'll set up that will cover an individual niche or topic where you'll write content on there consistently. You'll then monetize this through things like adverts, affiliates, informational products, or anything that'll be value for your customers to read. Now I like blogging for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's gonna be a skill that pretty much everyone needs to use in their day-to-day -day jobs, whether it's creative writing, writing projects, any of those kinds of things. Blogging will definitely make you a better writer. On top of this, and like a lot of other side hustles which are fleeting and come and go, developing a blog is much more of a long-term project, meaning you're much more likely to have a consistent source of income coming in month in, month out. Blogging is also incredibly inexpensive to get started as well, with often you only needing to purchase a domain, and hosting to get going. That being said, there are definitely some disadvantages to blogging as a side hustle. First of all, there's a definite learning curve when it comes to blogging with you having to learn things like keyword research, search analysis, potentially link building, how to write more creatively, all of those things. Secondly, and I wish someone told me this a little bit earlier on in my blogging journey, is that don't expect to make any money blogging in your first year. Google will see your website as a new website, not really trusting you for around eight months to a year before you actually start getting your content ranked on Google. So it's a definite long term process but it definitely does pay off. If then you can be patient enough to spend one hour a day blogging, writing two to three blog posts a week on really well researched topics for you to go after, blogging is definitely going to become a fantastic option for earning a consistent long term side hustle income. I'm going to give blogging eight for heads out of a possible ten. Now I appreciate a lot of the videos on this channel have been very much sales focused but if you're interested in more videos around me talking about blogging, any of these other side hustles, please do leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and I'll be sure to cover them in more detail. Probably why you should subscribe to the channel, right? Amazon FBA. So I've dabbled in Amazon FBA a couple of times in the past actually with kind of mixed results. FBA or fulfillment by Amazon is just the process of creating, designing and manufacturing your own product and then selling it through Amazon's platform. One of the things that's beneficial about Amazon FBA when compared to things like blogging, for example, is that it's not really something that you have to do day in, day out. A lot of the work with Amazon FBA is pretty much upfront. Once the product's in Amazon's headquarters and your product is up and running and selling and all those kinds of things, and you maybe only need around about two to three hours a week just to manage things like ad campaigns, for example. Whilst that might sound good on paper, the sad truth of it is that it's a little bit more complicated to that and the biggest obstacle facing you will be the cost of entry. And whilst a lot of you YouTubers out there will say, hey, you can start Amazon FBA from $100 or $1,000 or pounds or whatever your currency is. The truth of the matter is that you need between 1,000 to 5,000 pounds, I think, to really make an impact with Amazon FBA. Now that's a lot of money just to get started, but on top of that, there's an even more pressing problem with Amazon FBA, which is just analyzing the competition. You see, failure to do your calculations correctly is gonna be absolutely devastating to your ability to sell on Amazon. You might think that you find a really good product to sell, but after doing all your calculations, analyzing the competition correctly, you realize you're gonna be making a loss on your product, which, can definitely, definitely happen. I'm gonna give Amazon FBA a solid six out of 10. Day trading. Going to be honest, guys, I have very, very little experience with day trading, Forex trading, any of those kinds of things. So huge 
warning disclaimer here don't really believe this guy when it comes to that kind of stuff that being said i do know a couple of friends who actually do this on the side and by far this is easily the hardest side hustle to get started with if you are working full time not because it's overly difficult to master i mean in my opinion i think anyone can master anything with enough time and patience but because you need to assess the market for hours and hours on end basically eating into your work day kind of difficult when you're working a nine to five right on top of this what my friends have told me you need to invest a significant amount of money before you make any real amount of money there as well which defeats the purpose of a side hustle. You'll also need to spend about a year's worth of training just to be familiar with the platform and the techniques and tips and tricks and all those different kinds of things that come with day trading before you'll feel comfortable spending a dollar of your own money. I'm going to give this a lowly 3 out of 10 if you're working full time. If you're working part time or you only do shift work or something and you've got the time free then this might be a viable option for you but I can't really recommend it for most people. Guys as always thanks so much for sticking around till the end of this video. Leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts on what other good side hustles would be viable for traditional people in their 9 to 5s. As always if you're interested in more videos around sales, business, side hustles and of course personal development absolutely smash the like and subscribe button hit that bell notification as it really does help out the channel and until the next one i'll be sure to see you soon have a good one bye for now